How did I become an officer? I originally enlisted in 2012 as a 35 Fox, which in the Army is an all-source intelligence analyst. Over the course of nine years, I went to three different duty stations, and I ended up getting promoted to staff sergeant before I commissioned. I was a staff sergeant for about a year and a half, I want to say, before I actually went to OCS. And then I went to OCS, which is Officer Candidate School at Fort Benning, Georgia. I started earning my degree as a specialist, um, and it took me about five years to complete three years of school. I got a year's worth of credits from basic training in AIT, so, you know, that just knocked out a year of my degree for me, all of my electives. Over those five years, I earned a degree in exercise science. Exercise science is something that I was extremely passionate about, and I still am for me personally and for those that want help, but it's, um, it's some, I don't want to continue that route. Um, with my education. I plan on um, pursuing a degree in clinical mental health counseling because that's what I want to do when I retire. As an NCO, I was a battalion and brigade S2 and COIC. And now as an officer, I've served as an AS2 in that same unit where I was at brigade and now an AS3. That's assistant um, S2 and assistant S3. Um, so, you know, I had uh, majors that I worked for. I have really enjoyed the majority of my time in the military and you know when I had the opportunity uh, presented to me by a commander to commission I jumped on it. And now I intend to do another nine years and retire or maybe even go longer than that depending on the opportunities presented to me. In the coming months I'll take a platoon, um, you know I'll go to a couple schools in preparation for that and uh, then I'll get to do what every lieutenant wants to do in the army and that is be a platoon leader. I'm really excited because it's going to be a challenging experience that is far different than anything that I have done up to this point. My career up to this point has been, you know, mostly time in staff sections, which is very important and we need people that do a good job on staff, but I just want to see something else. I did about uh, five total years as an NCO before I commissioned.